Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I'm here in Malta and I'm going to Burgu, which is on that side of the inlet. And I've took, taken the ferry over to here and then I'm gonna go walk over to Burgu, which is a walled city. And I hope I get into the Knights of St. John's uh, Fortress, which is St. Elmo, I think, or something like that. But uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, it certainly is gorgeous. Um, thanks for coming along, everybody. See you there. Bye-bye. Okay. So that's the ferry I came in on right there, that little red one. And uh, is that right? Yeah, that's it. Um, and it takes you to uh, Valletta and uh, all that stuff. And this is where I'm heading. This is called Burgu. And this is the city over on this side of the inlet. So the way it works is this side is another island or another city. With, so they call it three cities. So this one has got some name that I don't know. I can I can remember Burgu, <laughs> which is the one straight ahead of me. Um, and that's where I'm going to go. So I'm going to take you on a tour, tour, tour of Burgu. And so uh, it should be amazing. But uh, so this is where I'm going to go. So this is the other side. Let me get to the other side. I'm on the walking bridge that gets you across this uh, inlet. Um, and you can see how gorgeous the the area is. I mean, that is just amazing. Um, and so, uh, let's get started. I got a, I got a walk to do. So, pretty amazing, huh? All right. So, I'm going to stay away from this side. The guy said that this is really an industrial place and, and there could be criminals or a bad element on this side um, and so this is the side that I'm going to which is the Burgu side so um, he told me to walk down this way and then get up to the castle and go in there and then uh, work my way to the fortress okay thanks everybody so I think this is about my ideal boat I don't want a sailboat that has a big tall mast but I was thinking about you know, if I ever could buy a boat like this that would fit in all the canals in Europe and then just do nothing but cruise the Danube and all the, the riverways in Europe. Um, so it has a cabin underneath and probably a little galley and a little kitchen and a little bathroom and it has a spot for a little boat and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, but that's really a cute little boat. Almost perfect. Something I could drive maybe. This one's not too bad, but it gets a little taller. You see what I mean? I don't know that I want something up on top. I just get seasick. <laughs> okay, I'm moving on, fine. All right. The guy that I talked to on the boat, he, he's been living here for like uh, 15 years and he, and he was from Ireland, So he, but he knew the area really well. And he said to not walk along the edge of the water, but yet to go up here and then catch the entrance to the castle or the fortress. And so I'm gonna do exactly what he said um, instead of following this, I was going to follow the edge of the water down here. Look at those boats. Amazing. But I'm not going to walk along there. I'm going to go up here, catch the edge of the castle, and then take it all the way down to the fortress. Is that amazing or what? Yeah, beautiful. Okay, I got some climbing to do. Bye, everybody. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna explore today, Burgu. And this is what we're looking at. You are here, and so I'm gonna try to get up into this thing here, and then I'm up in the fortress part, and then I'll walk across this walkway and then get all the way out to the end part. But this is, dun -dun -dun, Burgu. Amazing. And I'm right here now, and I just walked by this park, and then the little bridge that I came across is down here a little bit and over this way. So, Burgu. All right, so this looks like the entrance he was telling me about. And there's the big church that you can see from Veleta, and this is the entrance to the fortress. <laughs> Pretty amazing. You know, if I haven't said it yet, uh, Malta really is spectacular. That's spectacular. Huge walls. All right, well, let's go in and see what we get. 
Malta at War. Let's see, what's over here? The things to read. Advanced gate. This is the first of three gates that are preceding the others on the western side of the Burgu. All of the three gates are probably erected in the design of the 1722. And then what's this say? Uh, but my father was born in the city of 18. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. And I think, I guess I'm going to go this way. What's over this thing? Oh, this is that square. And I think that's where I'm going. That's the driving one up there. And this is the pedestrian one, I think, down here. And then there's across the water to that church over that way. So I'm going this way. Malta at War Museum. things to read. The Brugge Local Council uh, Memorial inaugurated 11th of 2009. Okay. Right, this is a cute little courtyard, huh? Let me zoom out a little bit and you can see more. Can make drone noises for you. <laughs> Two thousand or twelve twenty one, so that's pretty old. Cute. I love the blue and the blue door and the little streets. Amazing. Gate of Province. Well, I guess we'll go this way. And there's the church up there. I'm getting out of the street. So they drive on the left side here, or the, yeah, the left side. Amazing. Around here, isn't it? <laughs> There's a line. <laughs> you don't pay, you don't play. Or no, you don't play, you don't win. Something like that. I don't do lottery tickets, usually. Tell me that's not beautiful. Hmm. All right, I'll keep walking. Bye, everybody. Okay, so this looks like one of the main squares in Burgu. There's lots of people sitting around and just hanging out, enjoying the sights and taking it easy. Yeah, there's just tons of people just hanging out. Kind of interesting. Beautiful buildings, beautiful streets, more statues. Which way do I go? Get that church back there, that's kind of interesting. All right, well, I think I'm gonna continue on the exact same way I was headed. And I think eventually that'll take me to the fortress. St. John's Knights. What time is it? It's 8.18. Old Tommy's Confection, so it's a sugar place. And 
it's an eatery place, an ATM place. Okay, I'll keep walking. Bye, everybody. All right, so we've kind of come to a little clearing, a little fountain, which is cute. Huh, that's an interesting thing. What is that? And so that's where I live. So to find my house, really you just have to find the bell. So the bell is right over there somewhere. And then I'm up the hill. So you can't really see my house from here but uh, the view here is amazing all right I'm moving on hi everybody that's the castle I'm going to I guess what I meant to tell you is I mean we drive on the left so it's just like London so you see how the steering wheel is here on the right side of the car everybody drives uh, all the driving seats are on the you can't even see in the windows okay you are on the right side but the, and you drive on the left side so it's it's just like London that's all I was trying to say like there's a steering wheel there and you can see that the driver's seat in America would be a passenger seat same thing with this one too okay that's all bye all right well there's the fortress but how do I get to it um uh, there's stairs here that go down but that's what I'm trying to get to um Okay, I guess I'm going down the stairs. Hey, I'm looking for stairs or something to get over that castle. <laughs> and then I find this. It's like the stairs from the exorcist. <laughs> um, so I guess I'm gonna go down these and see if I can find a, uh, a way over the fortress. <laughs> okay, bye everybody. Okay, so I found this part and what I thought was a walkway isn't a walkway. I think that's an aqueduct or some kind of landing. And there's some kind of bar over there, but this is a cute little inlet though, all the same, huh? Pretty amazing little spot. And it runs out to the sea, and you can see how clear the water is. Pretty amazing. Okay. But I asked somebody, and they said go over this bridge, so I'm going to go that way. Oops. Fish just jumped. How cool is that? Where's my fishing pole? And these yachts are stupid crazy. Yeah, stupid crazy. Wow. It's like you need a team of people. Lady in blue. Look at that sailboat. Anyway, that's the castle for the fortress. Bye everybody. All right, so it's Fort Angelo, not St. Elmo. St. Elmo is the one by my house. This is Fort St. Angelo. And it looks like there's a door open, but I don't know if it's open, open. Pretty amazing, huh? Look how big these boats are. These are just crazy boats. And that's the fort up there. And that little thing up there is supposed to be pretty famous. There's one on like every corner. But, uh, plan B. You know, who wants something that big? Then you gotta take people with you. <laughs> I don't wanna take people with me. Amazing. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. They're gonna yell at me. Bye, Bri. Well, there's nobody here to yell at you yet, so I guess I'll... Oh, maybe this is all you get to see. Opening hours, oh, nine o'clock. So Monday through Saturday, or Sunday, 9 a.m. And here's the fortress. And this is where I just walked up and in. So I'm in here somewhere. And then that's what the whole fort looks like. And then here's what's in there. I'll go across, pause as you need to.
14 years ago, it's the heart of the pit of the Grand Harbor, the greatest and most epic setting in the country, a spectacular architectural monument, historically the key to multiple flagship and multi fortification symbols of Perry. Oh, you have to pay. So if you want to go to the Palace Malta Marina Museum, it's eight euros. I don't need a two day ticket. And that's the hours. And that's where I came in at. And that's where I think I'm going. If I click there, can you see? Nope. The painting of St. Michael. St. Angel Heritage Experience. So I guess I'll come back um, in about a half an hour, 20 minutes actually. Come on, there we go. 8.36. Okay, I'll be back. Bye everybody. Well, it's open, I think. At least the gate's now open so I can at least get farther. Okay, I've had enough of hills. <laughs> okay, see you inside, bye. It's closed, but she says I can take a photo from here. So, that's too bad. She says maybe on the 21st it'll open up. And you can see the church over there. And the fort looks amazing. Oh well. Whew. Certainly a lot of climbing. Bye everybody. Well, that's it for Borgu and the fortress. And so she said it might be open again on the 20th, 21st, and to try it back then. But uh, anyway, we gave it a try. It looks like a pretty impressive uh, fortress too. Okay. Bye everybody. Thanks for coming along to Borgu. Bye.